The long ways I have traveled on my small boat containing only I and the pen and journal in my hands. The ocean has kissed the sky for what has been a lifetime. I haven't seen land in quite some time until I stumbled on you. The land that spoke to me gently in my heart, guiding me through its beautiful unheard melodies meant for my ears only. This place, this beautiful place, reminds me of a land only fairies and the most unimaginable mythical creatures you can think of reside where I reside. As I stroll my boat down through the small path, the only path of water that isn't covered with trees and tall grass, my new friends playing me the most beautiful sounds on their instruments, the water starts to vibrate. A soft, deep, harmonic vibration brings life to the water. My eyes close to take it all in, and I am quick to open them to make sure I am in still what feels like a dream. Waterfalls of dark crystal blue and light emerald green pour into the water that carries me towards them. In the front of my boat, a beautiful whirlpool forms. As I peer into it, I see my ancestors and spirit guides dancing. I notice how their energy is of all colors and they invite me to join them, so I do. Down this whirlpool, I see my loved ones around me. I have never felt so much love. I close my eyes to take it all in. When I open them, I find myself back on the waters where the ocean kisses the sky. Is it over? I didn't want to leave yet. I close my eyes again in sadness. As I open them, I see something in the distance. A dark stone cave shaped like a dragon's head appears. As I row myself into the dragon's mouth, I see nothing but darkness. Everything fades and turns into nothingness. Not even my own echo can be heard. Water drippings begin to splash against my cheek, against my shoulder, into my bag, a bag I hadn't came in with. It weighs me down. My mind tells me I cannot put down this bag. Suddenly, I hear the water dripping, sending echoes into the distance. The water is shallow now. I step out and walk. I reach a small land of wet sand and continue walking. A puddle appears not far from me, and as I walk up to it, I see what looks like a never-ending portal. In it, stars start to form, and out of the corner of my eye, I see light coming from above my head. My gaze shifts up as I notice a hole in the top of this cave. She is beautiful, the night sky. I look back into the puddle to find a figure made of light. She turns into the fairy of the night. She is so bright as she rises above the portal and into my realm. She is my guide. She offers me water from a shell that lay on the shore, water from the puddle. I hesitate at first, as it is silver and metallic looking, but I trust her. So I take a small sip and it trickles down my chin. Suddenly I'm thirsty, so I chug the water as if it's the purest water I've ever tasted. It is. She notices the big bag I'm struggling to carry. She tells me to put it down and doesn't hesitate to open it right up. Inside, she finds everything that I feel within the depth of my soul that keeps me from being who I wish to be. I want to be someone who is at peace, who is full when they have every reason to be empty. Each thing that no longer serves me is wrapped in a shapeless ball with tags on each one, naming each of them. She tells me to hand each one to her, so I do. I struggle to hand them to her as they are heavy, but she takes them with such strength as they each crumble into nothingness down into the puddle. She offers me another drink. I wonder if it will taste different since I've rid these things into the water. It doesn't. It is purer than ever. A new light suddenly forms, revealing a staircase just ahead. She guides me towards it, 
walking me up each stair as I glide my hands slowly across the wet cave wall. Moonlight appears. Up and out of the cave, we walk to find ourselves to a land full of breeze and life and fresh ocean. Not far ahead lies a soft patch of grass. I wander to it. I am at peace here. I am safe. I am okay. Two swords above my head the night fairy gives me, blocking these things from returning. She tells me she is always here for me if ever I need to return. As I walk back down into my boat, leaving this sacred safe space to drift into a fog. Different. I feel different. Fog clears ahead as a mountain peeks out. Light emerges from this mountain as the water pushes me gently towards it. I find myself back into the land full of melodies and creatures, love and compassion, light and pureness. I am whole here. I am loved here. I am one here. A new eye has been opened as a layer of new visuality comes before me. The water begins to hum again, and out of it, a deep, soothing voice tells me I am here now. I am free now. I am one with the trees now. The wonderful water tells me I am safe here. He is my spirit guide. I surrender to the universe and let her guide me. In return, she has taken away my battles and helped me rid of fight one long ago. She has helped me clear my mind of the thoughts and feelings that no longer feed me, no longer serve me. Now that I am safe within myself, I am safe to be shown the next journey, guiding me towards who I am, who I always have been. I am free to be here for as long as I need, until my next endeavor. Mm -hmm.